Hi, we're going to take the opportunity to demonstrate the termination of our LMR400 cable with one of our new X-Series connectors, EZ style X-Series connectors. First of all, the tools that are involved in this termination process are the following. The CCT-02 cutting tool, the CST-400 prep tool, and in this case, the CT-300-400 crimp tool. We have many other crimp tools that are also capable of crimping this, but this, this is the tool we will use today, today's demonstration. We'll take the LMR-400 cable and our EZ-Style X-Series connector. Some of the characteristics of this connector are it's a tri-metal plate, excellent corrosion resistance. It's optimized for VSWR. As you can see, it has some ribs in the back that are really help with strain relief and weather sealing, whether you're using an Atom boot in the back or using a WSB 400 boot. Maybe most importantly, <clears throat> with these X-Series connectors, all of the strip dimensions have been unified to work with this tool, the CST-400 prep tool. So whether you're using a straight end, a right angle end, a 716 din, a BNC, whatever the interface may be, this tool will provide the proper strip dimensions. We're also going to demonstrate our WSB 400 strain relief weather seal boot. And although this cable may look very cleanly cut at this point, we're just going to demonstrate the cutting process because this is a good first step in the termination of any connector. We're going to get a couple inches back from the end of the cable. We're going to apply a little bit of downward pressure on the tool and we're going to spin the tool right around the cable. Not all that hard, but what we're going to do is going to scribe through everything and scribe the center conductor and you'll notice that that cable is nice and round. It's a square clean cut and it remains nice and round. This is an excellent way to start the termination process. At this point, we're going to take just a drop of this biodegradable silicone lubricant, take our WSB 400 strain relief boot, slide it over the back of the cable. Once it hits that lubricant, we'll be able to slide it back slightly, just like so. We'll take our crimp ferrule, slide the crimp ferrule over the cable, take our tool and make sure this is labeled side one and side two. Make sure there's nothing left in there from the last time you used the tool. Place side one over the, over the cable until it stops. You push down the thumb switch and as you're pushing down, you're spinning the tool. Once that bottoms out, make one extra revolution or a minimum of one extra revolution. Leave it depressed and you pull that off the cable. It's going to take that pellet cleanly off. As you can see, you got a nice clean center conductor at that point, a nice clean cut on the core. You flip the tool around to side two, and this tool actually has a deburr tool built into the tool itself. So you take that deburr bit, place it over the center conductor, and just a little bit of back and forth, half a dozen back and forths, and you'll see, actually see the little material fall away and you'll get a nice clean chamfer on that center conductor. This makes it much easier whether you're using a solder pin, and in this case we're using a spring finger contact, so the deburring of the center conductor is an important step. We now take the tool, flip, we're, we're still on side two, we place it over the cable, make sure that is set for crimp, and just like an old fashioned pencil sharpener, we just spin the tool, you'll feel a little bit of resistance, you just spin it until it spins freely, just like so. And that pellet material just falls cleanly away. You get a really nice uh, prep cable like it was done in a you know, high-end bench style type prepping equipment. At this point, you just take the braid wires and just fold them back a little bit from the core. You don't have to comb them out. You take your connector. It's got a chamfered cable entry. It's going to be a nice snug fit. As we mentioned earlier, it's a non-solder spring finger, beryllium copper. Place it over the core, and right away you're going to see it's a nice snug fit. It's on there pretty well. Push it, and you feel it into, you know, softly until you feel a little resistance. It's coming in contact with a center conductor at that point. Give it one extra push, just like so. Dust those four fingers, beryllium copper, right up on a center conductor. Now you take the crimp ferrule, slide it forward, and you'll see the braid wires are right where you need them to be. It's a no braid trim design connector. All the X-Series connectors are. At this point, you take a 429 hex. In this case, we're using our CT-300-400 crimp tool. And you want to crimp that once, just right at the very back of the connector. And this is what you want this to look like after crimping. You'll see the back of the ferrule flares up a little bit. You leave that just the way it is. You don't want to crimp that, that's by design. If you crimp that, you're going to crush the, the jacket, crush the cord, and change the impedance of the cable. 
We're almost done. All we're going to do is take one more drop of this material that dries very quickly of this lubricant. There's ribs in the back of the connector. There's ribs inside this boot. You may even hear them snap over the back of the, uh, the connector. And that's, that's it. You're all set. You have an IP67 seal. You have a very nice rugged strain relief. Tri-metal plated uh, connector for very good corrosion resistance. Excellent VSWR. And because we've used these tools, we've used this cutting tool, we've used this prep tool. It's a spring finger contact, non, no soldering. You're going to see very consistent results if you were to terminate a large number of these terminations using the same method and the same connector. Thank you very much.